Right, looks like they're doing a runner before I can get up there. Monkey's on the case. Yeah, we've had field mice dying around. It wasn't the nitrogen that killed it. What you are finding though is that methane additive in the gas. They love us. They love us. Yep. The methane has been, or the additive has been uh, confirmed as the smell that we're smelling. Yeah. Uh, Methanolite, is it methane? samples but um, what, what what we want on record is that the smell of your macaptain uh, comes out 10 minutes before they flare all the way through the time that they're flaring and for about an hour afterwards and yesterday's release was absolutely overpowering yes by far by far and um, what we have uh, like, like my friend says um, normally we used to about 30 or 40 mice running around in the kitchen um, we've got um, absolutely no mice visible last yeah, night or today. The food's, food's all contained and stuff, but they, they just shredded over there from once the fields have been oh, done. We found one live mouse, but it's in a poor way. We've called out the uh, RSPCA to take it away. It's barely breathing now. Um, we've documented it on video from the start to end from the moment we found it. Rapid breathing when we found it. Um, very poor state. We've, uh, we've kept it overnight, fed it, watered it, left it somewhere with a nice warm lamp on it. It had a little bite to eat last night, which was all documented on video. We woke up this morning, uh, it's got very shallow breathing, hardly breathing at all. I expect it to be dead in, in a day. Um, I'm hoping the RSPCA will get it while it's still alive. And then um, if it does die, then we're going to ask them to, to find out what killed it. Because it does seem a bit strange that we'd see 30 mice a day running around the rafters and, and uh, that's, that's around the kitchen. And after the release yesterday, whether it was a release intensely or not, um, there's not a single mouse. Like, not a single mouse. And that is wrong. Plus, of course, you've got the, the, um, uh, the three-week period between each ditch draining. Um, there's at least 50 mice documented, videoed and photographed each time being sucked up into those pipes. And they've had eight visits here. That's 400 mice. Um, we haven't seen any birds flying around t today or yesterday either. Um, we're gonna, once we get a few more bodies on the ground, we're going to go and have a hunt around and see what we can find in the way of dead bodies. Um, but we are hoping that the RSPCA will look at what we've got um, with regard yeah. to this mouse. I mean, if you... <laughs> Oh, it will. I'll give you this. Give you here. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. 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 
Yesterday we classed, we classed yesterday as an emergency because we were all physically sick. Uh, we all had headaches for the rest of the day, irritability, coming locals coming down expressing the same uh, symptoms. The problem you've got is the fact that when we call you, it's nearly always, as I say, and I want it on record, it's about 10 minutes before they flare. You can hear them release the gas up on top of the um, rig. 10 minutes before they flare, it stinks. Very, I mean, it's overpowering. All the way through the flaring, you've got the smell, and for at least an hour yeah, afterwards, at least an hour, you've still got the heavy concentration of uh, the, the pest, as I call it, because I can't pronounce the names. I'm not a technical the, the, guy. The yeah, the odorous smell. We've had um, an ex-senior executive from Yorkshire Water come down and um, sniff the gas himself. I said, yeah, that's it. And I was under the impression the heavier the, the smell, the more concentrated the gas is. Um, I don't know if that's the case. I'm not an expert, but... We, we couldn't draw breath. We were all in gas masks oh, yesterday, yeah, and um, he was ill, I was ill, I was, I was physically Ill. sick. Um, and as I say, the, the headache that followed for the rest of the day, everybody had headaches, and we're not just making that up. We wouldn't, we wouldn't waste your time. But how can you get here in time? Yeah. That's the sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll do. Well, we'll do, but it's, it's the time it takes for you guys to get here. The smell's dissipated or gone. And uh, I know the ESG were coming down um, and they did take some air samples, but I noted that they took the air samples from this side of the rig when the wind's blowing that way. So, I mean, a little, if, we, if we liaised a little bit beforehand, I mean, if we knew, they, they, they do tend to follow a pattern for releases, but today they're not going to release anything because you've got Channel 4 coming down and um, some, some uh, rather the high powered environmental um, dignitaries are coming down because we're, we're fed up with it. Um, we feel like we're being stonewalled and we feel like we're not getting anywhere and we feel like that uh, we could use uh, some more support. It's, it's difficult enough for us to, um, to, to stay there but when we're actually giving as much ammunition as we can and it's a bit like the cavalry turning up two hours after the battle um, it's, it, it's easy to take samples, it's easy to go in there. I spoke to Diane Orr at length about the corrective measures that were imposed on Rathlin and they were imposed almost six days ago, maybe something longer than that, seven days maybe, um, just after your visit. That was the, sam that was the, that was the measures to, to sample, yeah. to take samples of death and characterise Yeah, well she, she, she explained that they were, there was, she admitted that there was air pollution. Um, Since then, those, those releases have been uh, three times stronger than what we first had. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, so, so, so hopefully we won't, uh, if they've done that then, we won't, shouldn't smell it again um, in theory, is that correct? But you are aware that they claim to have an ISO 1401, um, but it's not been independently verified. So a lot of people have management systems that are based on the That's right, it's not, a, it's not a requirement, but should they have it verified, then you would be in a position to remove their license. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, having a system verified is it's not a requirement. They need to have a management system. Many people have a management system, but very they just use that yeah. model to produce the system. And you've asked them to produce a management system. Yeah, it has got a management system. It has, it? Because um, from, what, from what I've 
from what we can gather, the ISO 1401, they are claiming accreditation from the British Standards Institute for it. I'd have to, I'd have to check with their system. Yeah, you look on their website, it's, it's you, pretty you cool. You can have a management system based on that model, yeah. but you don't necessarily have to go and get the accreditation. No, okay. But so, you have to have a management system. But should they, have, should they get the accredi accreditation, then they would be, they would be uh, under your control no, much more, is that correct? No, no. Absolutely, no, yeah, no, well, yeah. yeah, we're obviously yeah. going to call you out for no reason at all. Yeah, just I don't want to waste anyone's time. Yeah, because obviously, um, you, as I said before, you quest, questions all things, sure. the, the email, and then we, then we yeah. can, because then, then we can, we can You've got something to work from. We can yeah. prioritise yeah. All right, well, okay. if it happens again, we'll give you a call, if not. So with the wildlife side of things, that's not um, something that you class as uh, something that, that, that would be uh, an emergency to deal with at the moment. No, right. it's not, um, I mean, obviously, dead mice and um, we wouldn't, there's no way we would be able to link that to what's going on. I mean, no, uh, well, we, 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 yeah, yeah, we are hoping that the RSPCA yeah. may do an autopsy. And we'll find the link um, that we're looking for. Uh, that's, that, that's not something we'll be able to follow up on. Okay. Mice, but, All right, well. Um, but it does affect the, the owl. Yeah. The smell is important to, because was yesterday was the worst ever. It was, it was intolerable. We were sick. And if it's making us sick, you know, it's obvious that it's heavier than air. And it, it does, it, it says everything, when you can't find a single mice, mouse today, uh, and that was yesterday. I, I, I'll be honest, I, I, I wouldn't have got any information on, on whether the sensitivity of mice to... Yeah, well, it, yeah, it, was, it was heavy, but it was expensive. So, um, yeah, it, 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 we'll, we'll, if, if they do any flare, because um, they did some flare yesterday. So, um, you know, this was the day after the nitrogen uh, job. Nitrogen job, obviously. Work, whatever they did. No, um, the, uh, the nitrogen would be so, um, so they could get some gas and they'd sure. have to remove some dry from the well, and that's what the nitrogen is for. Right. And then so they could get some gas out for the test. That's so there's no truth in the, in the rumour that they were using the gas, to, uh, using the nitrogen gas to freeze the other gases to see where there may be a leak. No, as far as you're concerned. No, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, all right, yeah. thanks for All that. Right, yeah. Thank right, well, you very thank much. You very much. Now, so. Good, All excellent. Right. All right, see how you go. You shouldn't find any problems um, because they've, they've done virtually nothing all day. A um, bit of banging about last night. Um, but there's been... Uh, there was a release this morning that I got on video. Um, well, I'm not saying it was a release. What it was was a fella up the top of the um, well rig, or the rig uh, unscrewing a stopcock. And then you heard that sound, of that tinny sound of uh, gas going through a pipe for about two minutes then he shut it off but there was no flaring got that on video if you want to have a look at it all right thank you for your time gentlemen